We're back with more ridiculously huge numbers, but it's there's going to be a bit of a digression in the next uh, few videos. Um, so bear with me if you're only interested in the ridiculously huge numbers. Trust me, they'll come back in a big way. But I want to start with a word puzzle, a uh, word in the mathematical sense of just a string of letters. Uh, and this uh, comes from Harvey Friedman's work. Um, and so here's the, uh, here's the idea. We're going to write down a string of letters, like let's say A, B, A, B, C, C, B, A, A, B. Okay, here we use three letters or symbols, or you could use the numbers 1, 2, 3, or the numbers 0, 1, 2, it doesn't matter. Um, and I want to know if that's a legal word in my puzzle. And so there's really just one rule to make it, to decide if it's legal or illegal, but it has to do with keeping careful track of the position the letters are in. So I'm actually going to redo that. Uh, there's 10 letters. A, B, A, B. C, C, B, A, A, B. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a couple of notions. I'm going to say a simple string of letters, and sometimes I might call the whole thing, instead of a word, I might just call it the whole string of letters, because that's all it is, just a string of letters. A simple string is any substring of this whole thing um, in order, consecutively, from position i to position 2i for any integer i, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for example, to make that clear, for example, um, examples of simple strings here would be, well, the 1 and 2 positions, so ab. So ab, that first ab there, that's a simple string. And 2, 3, 4. Um, by the way, some of this notation, this terminology is not due to Friedman. I'm just trying to explicate it in a little bit of a more accessible way. BAB, uh, that's 2 through 4. So it goes from 2 to 2 times 2. That's a simple string. And then there's one, 3, 4, 5, 6. The ones in 3, 4, 5, 6 are ABCC. So we're just picking out sections like this and like this and like this. And notice they get longer as you go. And then 4 through 8 has going to have five letters. That's going to be the string BCCBA. And then 5 through 10 is CCBAAB. Okay, so that's what, a, that's what the simple strings are in this word. Okay, and now the rule is we want to avoid what's, what I'm going to call a match between simple strings. Okay. So, oh, let me get it better. That's my blotter sheet. So a match between simple strings is going to be, let's see if I can fit this on here. Um, okay, not a lot of room. There we go. Okay. So a match between simple strings is going to be any time that one of the earlier strings, and therefore smaller strings, um, can fit inside one of the later strings, and that means that you can take one of the later strings and just cross out letters and get the earlier string without reordering. That's important. Okay, so a match is when a later string, let's say, with letters crossed out, uh, is... Uh, and so this is one of the simple strings of this very special form, all the things from i to i. A later stri simple string with letters crossed out is exactly one of the earlier simple strings. So that would be a match between those two simple strings. So for example, um, if you take... There's a lot of matches here. If you take the two, three, four simple string, that second one, if you just cross out the first B, you get the, the very first one. So that's a match. So these guys match. Um, similarly, if you cross out the CCC, the CC here, that's a match between these guys. Um, this guy 
doesn't have any match with this guy because a it doesn't a and b don't show up in that order. So even if you cross stuff out, you don't get a match. Uh, B A B certainly doesn't show up in that order. A B E C C doesn't show up. So this guy doesn't actually have a match. This guy has A B, which is, matches with this guy. And if you cross out C C and one of the A's, you get B A B. So you get this guy. Um, and then that's all the matches there are. Now that's a lot of matches occurring between the simple strings in this one word. You can hear my obnoxious cat yelling. Sorry about that. Um, and here's the rule. So this would in fact be totally illegal in this puzzle. Okay. So the one rule is avoid any. That says any. Any match between simple strings. Okay. And the goal is to build as long a legal string as possible, a legal word, whatever you want to call it. Oh, with a, sp a specified number of letters, with um, a fixed, from the start, a fixed number of, let's say, symbols or letters that you use. So here, I only used A's, B's, and C's, okay? And we're going to call that uh, K. So here, in the example I've shown you for that word, K equals 3. And we failed. We tried to build something that was 10 long, and we totally failed. You can't see that. We totally failed because there was a lot of matches, okay? So um, let me show you one that would be legal with three symbols, okay? Put this down here. Okay. Now that I've shown you one that isn't legal, something that's legal with k equals 3 using a, b, and c would be a, b, b, c, 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 b, a. Okay. So let's do that really carefully. Uh, the first, I'm just going to list all the simple strings, a, b, and then 2 through 4 position is b, b, c, interestingly enough. And then 3 through six position. Anytime it starts at i, it's going to have a length i plus one. It's easy to figure that out. i through two i is just i plus one length. So that's going to be c. That's going to be b c c c. And then c c c b a. So this has a total length eight. So five through eight is our last one. Okay, so let's see. I claim this is legal. Uh, here's my very first simple string. That, that's got an AB. That means that in none of these other simple strings can I ever have A and then B with no matter where they are, no matter what's in between, as long as it's A and then B. But I do not have A and then B. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that I can never, ever, ever have A and B in the whole word because maybe they won't fit into the same simple string. But it means AB is pretty unlikely to appear in the rest of it unless it's in a very special situation. Okay. BBC, let's see. Well, I just have to look over here, the bigger words. Well, there's not two Bs in here, so we're good. And there's not two Bs in here, certainly not followed by a C, so we're good. And then B and three Cs. Well, there's three Cs in here, but they're not preceded by a B. So even if I cross stuff out here, it's not a match. So no matches. That's what I was trying to avoid. So that's a legal word. Okay. And so you can play this game. You can ask your, so you can make up some sort of string and ask yourself, is it a legal word? And then you can play the game a little more systematically, like by trying to progressively build longer and longer words um, and keeping them legal at each stage. Okay, so um, just a little bit more in this video about the game. And again, eventually this is going to tie up, tie in with the huge number stuff. But let's not worry about it right yet. Okay, so um, let's see. So if k equals 1, okay, what's going to be legal? Alrighty. Well, uh, a is legal. There's not even a simple string at all. A, a is legal because there's just the one simple string. You can't match with anything. A, a, a is still legal because you, you still don't have more than one legal simple string. There's 1 through 2, and there's not a 2 through 4. So th that's legal, but after that, you're totally screwed. Okay. A, 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 a. Well, then that matches with 
the triple A there, just cross off one of the A's. So that's legal, and that's not legal. Okay. All right, so I'm going to keep track of the biggest length legal word, if we can figure it out, um, by calling that, and this is what Friedman calls it, this is n of 1. So n of 1 is the longest legal word I can make with one symbol. Um, sometimes you talk about the, the, the next one after that, the, lo the shortest, um, the, the smallest number so that you can't possibly make a legal word. And right now I'm actually forgetting which one is. I think, I think you define, in this one, I think he defines it to be the longest legal word. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, already k equals 2 is fairly interesting. Okay. Um, so just using a's and b's, just a combination of a's and b's, no c's like we were doing before, um, it's an interesting challenge to find the longest legal word you can um, to do that. Um, it's also kind of fun to play a variation of the puzzle. Um, give yourself a fixed starting word and then try to extend it, kind of like the game Ghost, an actual word game. So, for example, if you only start, if you start with a stutter, you start with a double, start with this and then see how long it can be. So that's restrictive. That might not be as long as what you could do with any kind of start. So maybe, because maybe AA is not a particularly smart start, maybe AB or BA would be a smarter start. Okay. Obviously, if you start with BB, it's not going to be really any different. Okay. So I invite you to go ahead and play that puzzle um, with those specifications, with either the variation or the straight up, just how long can you get it, just using A's and B's, and not getting any matches between simple strings. In the next video, I'll talk about the answers to that. Um, but let me talk a little bit about how a mathematician would look at this. Um, not so much just as this particular puzzle, but we'd ask some qualitative questions. Um, the main question is, can we go on forever uh, if k is bigger than 1? It's pretty clear that if k equals 1, we're done, right? That was the max, okay? Maybe n of 2, n, three, n of 3, n of 4, n of 5, as soon as you get two symbols, maybe you can go on forever, okay? That would be an interesting result, um, but we're not sure, okay? And if you think that's true, can you prove it? That's a different issue, okay? Um, a little bit of a different question, but very close related, is... Uh, one way to prove it, if you could go on forever, would be to come up with an algorithm um, of precise strategy, in other words, for that will always extend a word starting from nothing and always build a word uh, letter by letter by letter and build it longer and longer and longer. That would be one way to prove, not the only way. That would be the only one way to prove very explicitly that you could go on forever. Okay? Um, and is there such an algorithm that doesn't ever fail? Okay. Um, another option would be, okay, uh, what if, like the maximum, the maximum word length given a certain number of symbols, so that's our n of k, what if that is finite? for some more k besides just n of 1, k equals 1, that is. Um, and maybe it's finite for some, maybe it's infinite for others. Maybe there's some crucial number of symbols that you need, and then it breaks free, and, and you just get an infinite number. Um, well, what if it is finite? Okay. Um, then it's pretty clear that, like, n of 1 is less than or equal to n of 2 is less than or equal to n of 3, because... You, if you allowed three letters, you don't have to use them, and therefore you can at least do at least as well as n of two, etc. Okay. Um, at some point, does this become infinite? And if not, how fast does this sequence grow? So that's an interesting question that we've seen before. How we've a sequence of numbers. How fast does that sequence grow? Okay. Um, so we'd like to basically know these numbers and know if any of them are infinity. And I'll stop right here on this video.